friends welcome to gaurav's arena this is gaurav chodnekar and today in this video tutorial i will show you how to use buffer reader to accept the input from the user we will be doing this program in java and as usual i will be using notepad plus plus and cmd for execution you may prefer any sdk or text editor as per your choice so as usual I will be first typing the import java.io.star semicolon. Now let us save this file with buffer io.java. Okay, so for this program, we might require another import file like import java.lang.star. Okay, I mistakenly wrote star, okay, star semicolon. Now what we are expected to do is to take the input on the command prompt from the user and then process it, right? So in this program, we would be just take the input and say hello to the user and that's all. So now let us start with it. Class, buffer IO, open class, close class. Okay, we won't be needing any methods or functions. So public static void main string args. Open class, close class. Okay. Now let us do it within try catch. Open try, close try, and then we would be doing some things like catch exception i exception e okay now the most important part we will be declaring buff sorry for this problem so we will be declaring buffered reader here it is buffered reader ob is equal to new buffered reader in bracket new input stream reader new input stream reader in bracket system dot in so what it basically does is the system dot in values are then take into the input stream reader and then pass down to the buffer reader we can use data input stream also to accept the user inputs but buffer reader is the most suitable from that and apart from that we have one another type known as the scanner class which i will be showing in the next video so now after creating the buffered reader object i would prompt the user to enter his name so system dot out dot print ln enter your name backslash n semicolon so we are now good with the code we have declared a buffer reader object prompted the user to enter his name now it's time to accept it so it would be string name is equal to the object name ob dot read line method the l must be capital in here and then the read line method as we all know that java is very case sensitive and hence it must be a read line method now that's it we would now be printing system dot out dot print ln in bracket double inverted quotes hello double inverted quotes completed plus name plus double inverted quotes And 
that's it we are done with it now let us see whether we are done right or whether we are not let us compile it java c buffer io dot java okay we are very good with that we have no errors till now now let us run it so it is prompting me to enter your name and i can see the cursor is blinking there now i will enter my name so it's telling me hello gaurav and welcome to gaurav's arena so it is basically the one the input which i gave down there as gaurav and then the output came as hello gaurav and welcome to gaurav's arena that is the output was generated from here the prompting was done from here and the input was taken here so basically speaking we are going right all that was done was the object of the buffer reader was called to read line it has many other functions or many other formats to read but you can't read a string sorry you can't read an integer float or a double value directly so you might need some parameters like parsing uh, wrapper classes and all so that your string outputs gets converted to numerical formats as java doesn't support these native file formats of integer and all from the user all the user inputs are taken in the form of string and treated as a string hence you need something like integer wrapper classes and all so functions like integer dot parse int in bracket the value so i guess it won't be a issue in this program uh, this would show you how to accept the inputs you can use the same output multiple times but not in threading in a simple program you can use it the same object would do for you to accept n number of inputs from the user even using the class objects technique you can use n number of times to display n values of the object so thank you for now i hope you like this video see you soon